EPCO Educational Topic Number 59, Introduction to Osteopathic Principles in Obstetrics and Gynecology. Osteopathic medicine is a distinct form of medical practice in the United States. It offers the added benefit of hands-on diagnosis and treatment through a system of therapy known as osteopathic manipulative medicine. The objectives of this video are to list the basic tenets of osteopathic medicine, define somatic dysfunction in terms of tenderness, asymmetry, restriction of motion, and or tissue texture changes, define a structural exam of the female, the father of osteopathic medicine is Andrew Taylor Still, 1828 to 1927. He grew up in rural Missouri and was trained as a medical doctor. He was dissatisfied with his ability to cure diseases and felt that medical practices of the day caused more harm than good. He developed a unique approach to medicine that emphasized, The osteopath should find health. To find health should be the object of the doctor. Anyone can find disease. The medical establishment during his time rejected his findings and thus he opened his first school of osteopathic medicine in Kirksville, Missouri in 1892. Of note, women, blacks, and minorities were welcome. The four tenets of osteopathy are 1. The body is a unit. The person is a unit of body, mind, and spirit. 2. The body is capable of self-regulation, self-healing, and health maintenance. 3. Structure and function are reciprocally interrelated. And number four, rational treatment is based upon an understanding of the basic principles of body unity, self-regulation, and the interrelationship of structure and function. The signs and symptoms of somatic dysfunction are defined with the acronym TART. The T stands for tenderness, the A is for asymmetry, R is for restriction, and T is for tissue texture changes. In addition to the routine physical examination, osteopathic physicians may perform a structural exam. There are several distinct areas of focus on the structural examination. For example, areas of symmetry and asymmetry. Are there any abnormal spine curves? Tart findings are noted. And areas of pain or discomfort are noted with the understanding that a structural problem can be located distance away from the area of symptoms. The OB structural exam is unique for the physician will look for underlying structural problems like leg length discrepancy that may decompensate during pregnancy center of gravity shifts and exaggerated lumbar lordosis, especially in the obese. Sacroiliac and pubic symphysis dysfunctions are common. Psoas spasms can cause lower quadrant pain and lymphatic techniques can reduce edema. For the gynecology structural examination, first check pelvic landmarks for symmetry and tenderness. Assess if the cervix is in the usual position and is there pain with insertion of the speculum at the level of the introitus or deeper within. During bimanual examination, assesses the uterus midline, is there any adnexal tension or laxity, is there uterine tenderness, and is there tenderness in the muscles and fascia of the pelvic floor. This concludes part one of the Introduction to Osteopathic Principles video. In part two, we will focus on osteopathic manipulative treatments.